So Catherine, it's great to chat with you today about your new film, Untitled Horror Movie. What can you tease about the film and your character? What can I tease about the film? Uh, you know, Untitled Horror Movie started as a product of the pandemic. In the, even though we don't mention the pandemic once in the film, we were all sort of starved for this kind of creative connection and creative productivity, but also just some kind of human connection and socialization. And uh, that's when I got a call from my dear, dear friends, Nick Simon and Luke Baines, who wrote this movie together. Um, Luke and I worked together on Shadowhunters for years. And Nick is a fantastic director who we're also friends with. And they said, hey, we're tired of sitting around. We wrote a movie and you're gonna do it. And I said, okay. And they'd figured out a way to shoot it entirely over Zoom. Uh, and what started as an experiment and sort of a creative outlet for us has turned into this really fun, wonderful, kooky horror comedy that we're all just really thrilled to have made something work. And I think it's, you know, ultimately it's kind of this metaphor for the arts will persevere no matter what. And, and entertainment and storytelling and passion will overcome any obstacle. And that's kind of what we've all done. Um, but the film, it's it's a <laughs> very interesting story. Uh, it's about six actors who are on a TV show together, find out that they're in this period of uncertainty of not knowing whether or not their show will be picked up. So they decide in the meantime to use this pent up energy to shoot a horror movie and unwittingly unleash a demon in the process. And so chaos ensues as you have these six actors. Uh, but what's what's really fun about this is that it allows us to, and I don't know if we particularly realized this at the time, but in retrospect, you have these characters that are dealing with the unknown and this period of uncertainty for their future. And that's really something that all of us have been dealing with over the last year and a half as we go through this this time. And it's interesting to have a story where that's not mentioned once and yet each character is struggling with it and dealing with it in their own way. And I feel like this project's really unique. Like you said, it's been shot separately and during quarantine. What was that process like for you? I feel like it's like a whole new world with Zoom. It is a whole new world. And this is the thing, we were still learning Zoom at the time. Um, but, you know, all of us have been fortunate enough to have been on several sets with fantastic crews. And, you know, I've worked with some amazing folks that have really taken me under their wing and, and taught me bits and pieces of the technical side. Um, but all of us were responsible for setting up our cameras and our lights and our sound and any bit of production from set deck to special effects makeup to stunts. We were responsible for all of it. Uh, our, ourselves being alone in our houses. And there's a, a huge difference between observing and understanding something that happens on set versus practically doing it yourself. So, you know, a lot of the thanks goes to Nick, our director, and Kevin Duggan, our director of photography, who ever so patiently taught six actors how to do all the other jobs on production uh, remotely. But, it, you know, it was a huge learning experience and, and really taught me a lot as someone who wants to direct in the future as to really what goes into uh, a production as a whole. But um, it it was a lot of fun. And we all, because our, our, we're all kind of a group of friends as well, it, uh, it helps because it allows us an opportunity to play characters that are very different than anything we've done before and to go through that process. And I know Shadowhunter fans are really excited about this because as you said, you're having like a mini reunion with your pal, Luke Baines. What was it like getting to work with him again on this project? It was really fun. And honestly, when you work with someone that you're friends with or have worked with before, there's a sort of uh, shorthand given that the ice is already broken. This was a bit of a new realm for all of us. Um, I knew Tim Granaderos. I've known Claire for a while, uh, Claire Holt for a while, who's also in the cast. But the rest of the cast a lot of us had never even met and some of us still haven't even met in person. And so much of the film uh, stems from the, the chemistry and the banter between the cast and sort of the improv that we have. And that was a bit of a, a question that we had going into this was, is this gonna work? And how are we going to have that sort of connectivity and that energy that you need for an ensemble cast of this nature? And who knows what it was, but there was some magic that happened at that first Zoom table read where it clicked and it gave all of us the confidence to really commit and dive in and go, all right, we're in this together and we're gonna figure it out and have fun and see what happens. And uh, ultimately, I think we're all really happy with the result.
Amazing. And I know you got to work with Luke on this film, but do you keep in touch with any of your other former Shadowhunters uh, co-stars? Absolutely. Those boys are my brothers. We uh, we were through thick and thin and literally heaven and hell <laughs> in, in all of the realms that we visited on the show. And that truly is, was one of the biggest gifts of Shadowhunters is the cast and crew family and the fandom that we have and everyone that was a part of the, the community that we love to call the Shadow Fam. Um, you know, I've, I was able to do a movie with Matt Dario earlier this year, right before the pandemic. And, you know, now working with Luke, I'm actively searching for opportunities to reunite with, uh, with members of the Shadowhunters cast and crew. Well, I know as, as the, as a fan of the Shadowhunters series, I know everyone is very excited for this. Um, loves looking, love looking back at the show too. Um, do you have any favorite memories from playing Clary or memories from set? Of Shadowhunters? Mm-hmm. Oh, I could write a book with the amount of memories from that show, but truly it's it's those little moments where you are covered in fake blood or have been crying for 10 hours or whatever it entails that day. And yet you still find yourself laughing and having a good time and connecting with these people and, and working as a team. You know, that's something I've really learned moving forward at, is that Shadowhunters was such a special set in that every single department, every single person from the top to the bottom of the call sheet was there because we loved working together and we loved collaborating and building this world and building this story. And I think that's why so many people connected to the world that we created on screen is that it was a cohesive unit. You know, there were, it's very rare on a set, but there are so many memories I have of conversations that happened where you have people from six different departments all just bouncing ideas off of each other and actively searching for ways that they could collaborate on different set pieces or costumes or props or story elements or you know stunts that we could achieve together and that's something that you don't often see on a set is that real egoless collaboration and that's that's something that I also actively search for and try and bring to other sets. And then jumping back to this film, I know you all shot things separately, but did you get a chance to connect with any of the other cast members? I know the cast is so great with stars like Claire Holden, and Emmy Raver Lampman. Did you get a chance to connect with any of them? Absolutely. So we were collectively through the magic of earpieces and headphones on Zoom all together while we shot the film. And that was part of the fun of it is that we were able to find the film together. And, and the script was great begin with, but we found so many moments of improvisation and things that some of my favorite moments in the film were spontaneous ad libs that people just came up with in the moment. And because we all were so invested in the project, everyone just sort of played along and found these really strange, interesting avenues. But since filming, I have had a chance to meet some of the other cast in person, like Darren and Emmy and I go on hikes sometimes. And, you know, it's nice to be able to have new friends in a time where all of us have been so isolated and, and to really connect with like-minded people in during a time where uh, things seem so far away. <laughs>